No matter why you forge, when you pick up your first tool, your idea starts to take life. Every artist, every blacksmith surrounds themselves with both capability and possibility. It all starts with the tool. Every surface gives shape. Every new technique gives new form. It doesn't end until you brush away the scale and set down your hammer. Whether you forge emotion into iron art, or you reforge the past into life, blue is there for you. We have hammers in every continent, in thousands of shops, and we are relentlessly learning and growing so we can put the best tool in your hands. Hi, my name is Andy Phillips, and in today's tutorial we'll be using a Big Blue 155, uh, and we'll be talking about some of the basic settings you can do with the dual valve system. Um, now, you have to take all of these measurements that I'm providing you with here with a little bit of a grain of salt. Um, you know, every hammer is going to be a little bit different, um, and what I like to do is take a sharpie and mark on the side of the hammer once I find that sweet setting for, you know, what my normal uh, setup is. So, um, you know, you'll just have to work with it a little bit yourself. But uh, this first setting is, uh, again, the, the standard setting. If I was going to be forging, uh, say, three-quarter inch round bar into leaves, uh, that's the setting that I would use. Um, and you can take that split between the primary valve and the secondary valve and apply it at a higher uh, elevation. And, of course, fit a larger piece of stock under there. The hammer performs just the same. So, now, of course, I'm, I'm talking about the primary and the secondary valve. The primary valve is the one on the right, and it controls the natural timing of the, of the hammer. Yeah, see that higher setting there. Um, the valve on the left controls the bottom of the stroke. So you've got one that controls the top of the stroke and one that controls the bottom of the stroke. Um, <clears throat> so now we'll go ahead and set the hammer down a little bit lower um, and this would be if you were cold texturing and you wanted to really conserve air uh, the lower you set the hammer uh, the more like you know the less it's going to have to move and the less it moves the less air it's going to consume uh, <clears throat> a lot of times in the lower settings i don't even use the secondary valve i'll move it up and out of the way and it'll it'll cease to function you can see there the hammer is really choppy uh, and uh, by removing the secondary valve, it gives it a, a chance to get into its natural motion, which is really what you're looking for in all of this. You want to you want to have the hammer raised up high enough that it gets into its natural rhythm before it starts hitting your steel. Uh, if you're getting a real choppy action, not a very good rhythm, then you're going to want to uh, want to back off and raise that hammer up higher. So now here's one of my favorite settings about the the dual valve. Uh, by spreading the cylinders, or by spreading the mini valves apart, you're able to really slow down the action of the hammer. Uh, you can hit very slowly, or you can hit a single time, uh, and you want to set it up so you're about a half inch away from your tool when you hit. So here we go. One hit. So those are some of the basic settings. Uh, thank you for uh, watching today. And follow us on uh, on Facebook, and we'll talk to you later.